Hi there. Uh, here is a quick little tutorial that should hopefully help you out if you're having problems uh, trying to, you know, balance chemical equations and how to go about balancing them. What, what's a way that you can visualize uh, this process? And you can see here we're going to start off with a very simple example. Uh, hydrogen plus oxygen, there's a symbol for oxygen there, gives us uh, water or hydrogen oxide. And if we were to take this and try to visualize this so that we're looking at them in terms of uh, these models, you can see here that we've got hydrogen and we've got a, the um, subscript 2. That obviously means that we have two hydrogen. And that's what we're going to show up here. And there are the two hydrogen atoms there in this diatomic uh, molecule. And uh, likewise, we can do the same thing here for oxygen. There are the two oxygen there, the two oxygen atoms, again, as noted here in the oxygen and then the subscript two. And finally, the uh, product that we get on the other side is water and the chemical uh, formula for that is H subscript two and O, and there are the two H's and the one O, and we can go ahead and just sort of fill in the uh, just to keep it in line with the chemical equation that we see down below. Now what we're going to do is we're going to uh, balance this chemical equation, but we're going to think about it in terms of, uh, or visualize it as we see these um, models uh, listed up here at the top. And basically one way to think about balancing equations is really uh, we have to ensure that the number of atoms that we have uh, on this side and the types of atoms that we have on this side and the reactant side balances and is equal to the number of atoms and elements that we see on this side. And, and that really gets back to the conservation uh, of, of mass, and meaning that we, we can't just simply lose or create mass. Uh, the mass that we see on this side must equal the mass that we see on this side. And that's why we have to make sure that if we have two H's on this side, we have to have two H's on this side and back and forth. And basically how we go about doing that is let's start checking. And you can see that if we were to start counting on the reactant side, focusing in on the first uh, molecule that we see here, H2, we can see in this visual model here that we've got two H's. Next, let's go over to the product side and see how many H's we have here. Well, we only have the one molecule of water here, and inside that molecule we have two H's. So really, right now, we're off to a great start. That is, at this point, considered balanced. We have two H's on this side and two H's on this side. Let's keep going. So let's take a look next at the oxygen. And again, we can see that the oxygen here, we've got two oxygens. Uh, in this diatomic molecule. And if we move over to the reactant uh, product side, we have only one in this molecule of water. Now that becomes a problem. This is not balanced and we now need to balance this. Now here's the trick. We can only add in the actual molecules if this is on the product side, we just simply cannot add another oxygen on its own. The only way we're able to add in atoms is as they would appear on the product side. So in this case, the only way that we can get more oxygen on this side is by adding in another molecule of H2O. We just can't add in just a single oxygen because that is not part of the chemical equation. We can only use the particles that we see in the chemical chemical equation. And if we're talking about the product side, the only thing, the only thing we can add in is really only more uh, water or H2O. So in this case, we need to balance off the two oxygen on this side with the one on this side. That, mean, that means we need to add in more oxygen and the only way we're going to be able to do that is by adding in another water molecule. Now let's take a look at that number again. So now we've got two molecules of water and that's the reason why we need to add in this two here. Now you'll notice we have to add it in at the front because this two means that we have two of this entire molecule and you can see here that kind of makes sense because we have one molecule of water here and another molecule of water there. So that's the reason why we have to add in the two at the front of this uh, molecule. All right, let's check it out and see how we did. So there are the two oxygen, great, two oxygen um, atoms. 
and there are two atoms of oxygen there. So right now we are looking balanced. Now, of course, we have to make sure we check and go back and ensure that we are balanced still in the other atoms that we've checked before. So let's go back and check out hydrogen. There are the two hydrogen atoms there. And you'll notice that we've got two hydrogen atoms in this first molecule of water, and we also now have two hydrogen atoms in the second molecule of water. That brings us to a total of four hydrogen atoms. That now becomes a problem. And we now have to balance this. And again, we have to follow the same rules. Now we're dealing with the reactant side. We have four hydrogens on this side. We only have two on this side. We need to add in more hydrogens. But in this case, we can only add them in as the molecules that currently exist in this chemical equation now on the reactant side. So we can only add in more H2s or O2s. And in this case, well, we want more hydrogen, so we have to add in H2s. It wouldn't make any sense to add in any more O2s. So let's focus in on adding in more H2s. So let's do that. And let's try to balance it out so we can get, hopefully, the same number of hydrogens on one side, on the reactant side, uh, to that of the number of hydrogens on the product side. So there is our second molecule of uh, hydrogen. And we now can count this out. So we've got two hydrogen molecules or two diatomic um, molecules of hydrogen. So there's one H2, there's the second H2. That means we now have to add in, again, that two in front of this molecule here of hydrogen. So let's start counting. We have four atoms of hydrogen, two there, two there, and we now have four over on this side. That's great. Now let's just double check to make sure that our oxygen still balance. There goes our oxygen here on this side, on the reactant side. There's two here and there's two there. Fantastic. I think we are looking like we're balanced. And if we were to clean this up and just sort of go back to our original equation, you can see now that we would have this listed there. 2H2 plus O2 gives us 2H2O. We've done already the checking back and forth and using those sort of models of those molecules. We can see now that this is balanced. And yes, you have now successfully balanced this equation.